Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Today I am going to show you how to create a table in HTML. Let's go to the previous folder and in my previous videos I used to edit all the codes using Notepad. Today I am using Notepad++ to edit my code. So if you don't have Notepad++ then download it and install it and after that put your mouse on the browser icon of which page you want to edit and after that what you have to do right click on mouse and you can see edit with notepad plus plus then click edit with notepad plus plus and you can see the source code of that particular page so the, uh, we have only the structure and today we will show you how to create a table in HTML to create a table at first you have to write the code table so you can control the width, height and the border of the table. So what I will do, border is equal to 1. And I will show you how to control the width and height of that table and also the background color of that table later. So let's see what happens. After this, you have to write TR. TR means the row of that table. So if you want to create seven rows, then you have to write, I mean, you have to write TR for seven times. So in, after TR, you have to write TD. So what that the function of TD, what is the function of TD? The TD means how many column will be available in your table, or you can say inside your table. So if you want to divide the whole table into five columns, then you have to use this code, use this tag TD for five times. So inside my first column, I want to so show some links. So I will write a link. And as you all know, if you watch my previous video, videos, then you can understand how to write a link using href code and my page. So inside my first column, I want to show a link. So the content of my first column is over. Then I have to write slash td. So I want to divide, I, as I said, I want to divide my whole table into two columns. So I have to write td again. So inside this column, uh, I want to so, show some text. So what I am going to show is today we are watching how to create a table in HTML web page. So that's all about my the content of my second column. So I will write slash td. If you want to divide the whole table into three column, then you have to write again td the content and then slash td. Four column td content slash td. So I want to end the row. So I will write slash tr and after that I want to end the table so I'll write slash table so this is all about how to create a table in HTML and after that control s to save the document once you have saved the document go to the folder and then click on test.html or your page and you can see there is a table with border 1 and you can see my page in one portion and another portion today we are watching how to create a table in HTML web page so it's not looking good isn't it so what can I do to look it better yes we can control the width and height of my table or your table so if I give the width as 500 and height as 500 then control s to save the document refresh the browser and you can see my page today we are watching how to create a table in HTML web page and not only this but also you can control the width of your particular column how can you do that inside the TD tag you have to write width 
for example I want to make it as uh, something 100 and another column width is okay 400 so control s to save the document go to the browser refresh the window and now you can see we can control the width of our column we can control the width of uh, the table height and you can see the, our content are not in the middle of the table so maybe you don't want to show the content in the middle if you want to show the content in the top what you have to do let's see inside the td tag you have to write we align top control s to save the document and you can see our links at the top so if you want to show your content at the top too just what you have to do is very simple inside the td tag write v align top that's all so this is the some basic functions of how to create a table in html if you have any questions please write your comment in the comment box and i will try my better to answer your all the questions. Thank you for being with us.